Well, it all depends on the show, uh, because each show presents different problems, and you have to make that adjustment and figure out exactly how you fit into the overall plan, or uh, what are your requirements, because the stage manager uh, is the eyes and ears of the director in the studio, because the director in television is sitting at a console where all he can see is what the eye of the camera shows him. For each camera, he's looking at each camera, but that's all he can see. He can't see the other stuff that's taking place around there. People may be setting props or changing uh, the set and all this. He can't see all of that. As I always say, if the ceiling is falling, the director never know. I got to have a stage manager out there to, to let you know, get out from under that. So all of his duties and problems change according to what the show is. For example, if you're doing a news show, when I'm doing a news show like with Cronkite or rather whomever I'm doing the show with, I'm sitting right by his head-on camera. And I'm cueing him when they begin. I'm giving him time cues with my hand for, uh, for time for getting out of a piece or for leading into a piece or for getting into a commercial. When the commercial comes on, I'm calling time so that not only he will know, but for everybody who has something to do. People may have to cross through the shot and so on. They know how much time they have. So a stage manager has control and the responsibility of the studio for everything that's taking place in that, seeing that everybody is where they are supposed to be to do what they're supposed to do and cues them at the proper time to do what they're supposed to do. Now that's a news show. Let's say it's a, a drama. If it's a drama, a stage manager has to make sure, first of all, that the set is proper. The things are as they were written, that they were as they were planned. He has to make sure that certain props are in the place where they're supposed to be. If an actor's supposed to pick up a bottle and take it over to the window, if someone forgets and the bottle's already, all, already at the window, that's a problem because he's supposed to take it to the window. You've got to make sure, you've got to make sure that each actor is wearing what he's supposed to be wearing and got to make sure that they're in the proper spot where they're supposed to be before their entrance and, and, and make sure that for their exit, everything is clear so an actor can exit. He's got to control everything and has the responsibility of everything in the studio because as I said, he's the eyes and ears of the director. Because a, a director is calling a shot and setting up a shot, he expects that to happen at the time he calls for it. Stage manager has to see that that happens at the time the director calls for it. So he's just an, ex he's an extension of the director out on the floor. If a director could divide himself into two parts, he would be a stage manager and a director. So w when you, ha you have a headset? Yes, and I'm listening to the director. I'm also listening to other people who are getting cues. For example, the lighting people are getting cues. Now, on Broadway, I'm calling, the, the stage manager's calling the cues to the lighting department. He's deciding when the lights go on and go off or, or dim or brighten and so on. But in, this, in, in television, this, the, 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 produ the director is making that decision, and he's talking directly to the lighting people. I'm listening in because if the director says something to someone that I know affects something that I have to do, I have to know to act on it and without having to ask questions and so on. And, and, and as in Broadway, Broadway a stage manager must know the entire script, must know everybody's lines, must know when someone miss a line because he may have a cue that he's going to cue set up for that line. Same thing in, in television. If a person's supposed to speak a line, you've got to make sure that, they, that that line, if they blow it, you've got to make sure how to get things done. A stage manager has to be able to act on emergencies.